Is this thing on? Oh, yeah, yeah. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while for a video. I apologize for that, but I just been really busy traveling for work. I was on vacation. I actually went to Hawaii for a vacation, uh, having fun and going to the beach. Uh, my prayers, though, for the uh, Maui people. Uh, I was on the island of Oahu, though, but uh, yes, the devastation in Maui. I was actually in Honolulu area when that happened, so it was just uh, painful to hear and see on the news and stuff and but yeah i am back here back home doing install videos and other cool things but so for today we're gonna do a really cool video on this car so what are we doing to this car on this car well first of all this is my comeback video so i'm calling this the theme of this video is the comeback because we're going to be focused on the back come come to the back you know and we're going to be doing things on the back of this car so uh one thing i'm going to be doing is changing the emblems let's check this out if you see the emblems here like all that paint stuff and the chrome it's all peeling out it looks kind of you know what i'm saying so we're gonna uh, replace that with some new emblems and these aren't just normal Honda emblems. It's a special type of emblems. Uh, it's in the trunk, I'll pop it in a second. But by doing that on the back, we're also gonna wrap this part here black. All right, so it kind of gives that more of a look of the uh, black top, the tint on the windows and stuff. So kind of give it all that black and white contrast, which I think is really cool, which is the theme I've been doing, you know, all these black and white stuff. and. A little bit of red here things like that so i think it's kind of cool so we're gonna do that for this comeback video we're talking about comebacks what's up with the sriracha though when they gonna come back with the sriracha man i'm telling you this fix sriracha stuff in the uh the pho restaurants and all these asian restaurants oh, bro it ain't the same with the sriracha man so that's so i'm pimping out the uh, sriracha shirt so hopefully they come back with the comeback sriracha all right, all right, here we go, guys. Let's take a look. Oh, shout out to Import Infantry, though. You know what I'm saying? Okay, there we go. See, I got some cool stuff. But right here, guys, this is this is what I got in here that we're going to change the emblem. So uh, let's open up this bag. All right, boys and girls. So this package is from Carbon 6th Element. Carbon 6th Element. Sixth. Carbon 6th. Suffering suck attack element dude that sixth that word is that anyways uh in here are the emblems that's going to be going on my car and uh, this ain't no collaboration or sponsorship things like that with carbon six but they have awesome things that i saw online so uh um yeah i bought this in retail you selling a sparko stand well hell no that's mine right there when i even pay retail for it all right guys here we go here we go let's, let's open this up all right here we go here we go let's see here all right. uh, box cutter cut it but be very careful careful of course Whoa, whoa, whoa. It was a close cut, guys. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Nicely wrapped and that bubble. So, hey, shipped very nicely, safely. All right, so let's see what we got in here. Oh, snaps. Look at that. Look at that. So, yes, these are carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber, carbon fiber, carbon fiber, carbon fiber, carbon fiber. Very light. Okay, I mean, I don't know the process of making carbon fiber. They included the uh, double stick tape, adhesive tape already. So the larger one is for the front. The smaller one is for the back. Check out their website at carbon sixth elements i will uh put put a link 
right down here and also down in the uh, description click on the link check out their website for these and there's different designs so yeah check it out different patterns for these uh emblems but it's so awesome look at that Woo! damn okay guys so for the little modification of these replacement emblems uh here's the uh parts and tools you need so we got the most important thing is this dental floss here that's a uh, you have to actually go behind the emblem, which we will do in a second. But we actually need a heat gun to kind of loosen up the stickiness. All right. And then once that's removed, we can use alcohol and a cloth to wipe down any sticky residue. You could also use this plastic prior to remove the, the old emblem, doing it that way, so forth. And Check out that sticker as well from Carbon 6 Element. Yeah. All right, let's get started. So when you floss your teeth, you wrap it around your middle finger. Then you use your index fingers to go. This ain't a tutorial for a Yo, cr crazy guys. All right. See? So when you're in the groove there, kind of just start pulling back. But, of course, that's what the heat gun is for, to loosen up the uh, stickiness behind the emblem. So let's, let's warm it up. Okay, so I got the prying tool in here. When I heated it up with the heat gun, it, you know, softened up the uh, stickiness from that double stick tape in the back. Put that prying tool and I could kind of just move it and pry this out a little bit better. There we go. Then once you got, you know, good enough room, it is kind of warm from that heat, heat gun, but there it is. And that's how it looks behind that emblem. So now we got all this double stick tape that we want to remove. Now I could probably keep heating it up to soften it and then keep peeling it off. That's probably what I'll be doing. Probably also use the alcohol, isopropanol alcohol to help also loosen that stuff, make it easier to come out. So just keep using, you know, that alcohol and a cloth or so if you want to take out this residue. Of course, there might be other products you can use like Goo Gone, but I guess for the time being, this is all I have. So this works. Just keep doing it till it cleans as much as possible. All right, a little FYI, guys, when you're using this tool, you got to be very careful because look, as you can see, I chipped off some of the paint here um when i was prying it out so uh be very careful <laughs> um yeah kind of sucks now but uh, at least the emblem will cover most of it like i think here like these ones at the top hopefully this bottom one here this one no i don't think so um i do have little touch-up paint so i'll probably take care of that little dot right here with touch-up paint and once you got all the sticky residue off of the emblem I don't know where the stickiness went though. I mean, look, it's pretty clean, right? I don't, I don't know where the sticky adhesive went. Anyways, uh, but yeah, after this, uh, you install the brand new one, which is this one right here. So yeah, the, the, the hell was that? What the hell was that?
So that's how it looks. Pretty clean. I like that. Nice, nice. But uh, as a clown, we got to put some makeup on this guy. And what I'm talking about makeup is just cover some of these blemishes, right? So uh, I'm using the Honda uh, part number 08703 NH08HA1. So that is the uh, part number for Championship White. If you go to your nearest Honda dealership. Uh, yeah, uh, let's do a little quick touch up and hopefully it'll make, it'll make it look a little bit better. Okay, so the next part of this video, I want to make this black, this whole area black. So I'm gonna be using a vinyl wrap on that. So it kind of blends in with all this blackness, which I think will be so cool on this car. Now, what I'll be using um, is vinyl wrap here. This is about 12 inches by five feet. Oracle brand, 651. I was thinking of using the carbon fiber, but I was like, yeah, mostly everything is solid glossy black. So I'm like, let's do the glossy black thing instead. So yeah, let's uh, get that going right now. All right, bro, this is dirty as fudge monkeys. So we gotta clean that off. I did wash the car yesterday, but uh, yeah, I mean, there's a license plate, so it never cleans behind that. Uh, so yeah, let's clean this up and then wipe it as well with alcohol, and then we can put that vinyl wrap right over that. All right, so it's clean enough. Uh, I will start putting the wrap. Um, I think I'm gonna do it wet, meaning I will be using the spray, which is water, just regular water. I'm gonna be spraying it and then adding the vinyl so it doesn't stick right away. I'm gonna try that first, see how that works out. And then of course, use a uh, type of um, plastic uh, wipe thing. Uh, you'll see, just, uh, just watch. Now I'm gonna do something different. I will keep this import infantry decal on there and then let the vinyl wrap go over that so it kind of has a, a little 3D effect, which is kind of what I did in my front with my uh, badge number. But uh, let's try it out and see how it looks. All right, guys, I realized this comeback is not a great comeback. <laughs> so uh, I guess this vinyl wrap, it's really meant for like, I would say making stickers and stuff. Um, but because it doesn't have uh, this other type of like bubble free material in the back or so. So it, it just it's just quite difficult to work with this. So that being said, I think we're going to just do this 
and I just uh, leave it as that with the uh, emblems. <laughs> We're just gonna keep it clean. But uh, yeah, I think uh, some other day I'll probably buy different types of vinyl wrap, uh, the uh, more, I guess, expensive type. And I think 3M makes them. So uh, as you know, this was Oracle, but I'll probably get the 3M brand, um, hoping it'll be better. But for now, we'll just keep it clean like this and just pay attention to that emblem. All right, this is a quick example of the better type of vinyl wrap. So if you could see when I wrap the front here, you might see like little bubbles, but that actually helps uh, release the air when you're sticking it on your car. So as you know, the Oracle doesn't have that type of uh, bubble-free type of material. So that's why it's like really sticky, but if you could see here, there's like some bubbles and stuff, like really micro bubbles, but that helps put on the uh, vehicle to make it stick much better. So we'll go ahead and trash this wrap here. That ain't working out today. Uh, till another day, we'll get that installed. Um, but I will probably, um, since we're focusing on the back today, because it's a comeback, I'll just do this front. Oh, not this one, my bad. This one, this one, the front. I'll do that right now, but uh, same process. I could use the pry tool, but remember when you use that pry tool, be very careful because it may chip the paint off your vehicle. So uh, I'll get the old one off, clean off all that sticky residue, and then put the uh, new front one back on. All right, so that's how that looks in the front. Looks pretty good. All blacked out. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> Yo, how sick is that? Blacking out all the letters. Damn, <laughs> it looks sick, man. It's all blacked out like that. And you ain't gonna get no ticket for that. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Woo, sweet. Damn. And check out the final product. There you go, carbon fiber from Carbon Sixth Element. Yes, indeed. Check it out. Very lightweight, looks so clean, so good. I mean, look at that, damn. Just those angles, the angles, it's all about the angles. Anyways, but yeah, oh, before I say thank you for watching, I forgot to put one more thing. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You're gonna love this, you guys. You're gonna love this, I'm telling you. Are you guys ready for this? You guys ready? Hold on, here we go. Let me just take out the double stick tape from this product and bam, look at that. Carbon fiber spoiler. Carbon fiber. <laughs> Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Right, boom. Look at that. <laughs> Damn, bro. That is sick. That is sick. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. But for now, keep smiling, be safe, and always stay driven. Peace.